In this clip I'm going to talk about um, showing logos on the open source point of sale program. To start this we've created a logo by going to the checker folder. In images there's a logo called checker.png and if we look at the size of that this one is 115 pixels by 54 pixels. It can be almost any size but that one seems to fit quite neatly and it's straight into the images folder. When we log on it looks like that. So it occupies a space just there in front of these other icons the clickable links to the various parts of the program. And to put that in place we went to application views partial header and we put in this line here. So if I go into that folder again, it's application, views, partial. And the reason it's partial is that there are two parts to the web pages, top and bottom part, the header and the footer. And this one goes into here. And that's where we actually enter that piece of code. So in that division, the division ID is menu bar company info, and we put it just below there. We had to tell the program where to look for the image, and it went into the images folder, and it's called checker.png. There's no border, and the alt text is checker logo. So if for some reason the image doesn't load, then it shows the intention. It shows that it was supposed to be the checker logo. We can also put a logo on the receipt if we want. And we can do that by going into Application Views Sales Receipt PHP and putting details of the logo there. And I'll show you how that looks when we do it in Anger. If we go into Reports sales under detailed reports I'll just click all time we can take a logo from a uh, receipt from here and look for the logo move that out of the way and there we have the checker logo on there it matches what's on top in the title bar there and down here on the receipt <coughs> now it says checker checker which looks a bit confusing and duplicated we should really show the name of the business on the receipts and the address so we only put scant details of the address and phone number but normally it would show the whole thing if we call that checker stores inc or something like that checker stores limited or whatever then that would make better sense and your logo may not have the name on it at all it may have uh, some kind of device or design on it and no name in which case it would make better sense to have the name there you can have a logo instead of a name, so if your logo said Checker Stores Inc or something, then there's no need to repeat it there, and we can deal with that in the particular file. So that's what it looks like when it's on the receipt, and if I go into File, now there's no print preview on this one, but it will look very similar on an A4 sheet, or scaled down onto a till roll such as 80mm wide or less. OK, if we want to put in a company name and an address, we can do that in the receipt. Let's have a look at that. Let's go into the checker files. We want to go into application, views, sales, and receipt PHP. And here we have the location of these things. So on this line, company logo, I've added a division. And the division ID is company underscore logo. And it shows the image source as images in checker.png. And that's what we had to do, is put another division into the receipt page so that it would show the logo where we wanted it. 
it's also got the company name there if we don't want the company name we can remove that division and just leave the logo so it's a choice you can have either the logo the name or the logo and the name depending on what your logo looks like really so that's what we can do and once you've made the changes of course you save the file and upload it to your server and you've got your logo in place so you can have it on the pages or on the receipt or both if it's brand image then you might want to have it on both I hope that was helpful to somebody I'll do some more clips later thanks for listening bye for now